Last year was my first year in Bali, and I have to tell you that I never really traveled internationally teaching until my mother passed away, and then eight months later, my father passed away. And it was as though the doors opened and the divine flow sent me to all of these amazing places. Um, India, Dubai, Abu Dhabi, China, and then my dear friend, who is also a yoga teacher here, Les Leventhal, I asked him, I said, um, how is Bali? Because he moved here with his partner. And he said, it's the most amazing place you'll ever visit. And um, he said that people will touch your heart. And so I told him I would love to come and be a part of Bali Spirit. And I reached out to Meg, and she said, please, come be a part of Bali Spirit. And last year when I arrived, the Balinese people, Meg, Bali Spirit, just embraced me. I felt so supported and at home. And there is a deep connection to spirit and to ritual. And I you feel that when you're here. My heart is in Bali. I absolutely love it. Physically, my body loves it. I love the heat. I started off as a ballet dancer, but everybody thinks, oh, if you're a ballet dancer, you're flexible. Or I've even had a teacher say, you're born that way. Quite the opposite. Um, yoga. It wasn't until I really started practicing yoga about 25 years ago diligently that my body began to find balance, to strengthen where I needed to be stronger and open where I needed to open and soften not just physically, but energetically, and there's really no separation, right? So as my physical um, body began to open, and my spiritual body began to open, and my emotional body began to open, everything just sort of started falling into alignment. And a lot has to do with thoughts, what we're generating and cultivating in our bodies on a cellular level, what we eat, what we drink, what we think, what we speak, where our environment, how we respond to that, our relationships, and not just our relationships to self, but to one another and to our source, to God. And I find that with all of those, you know, yoga really gives us a path um, to follow, um, a formula to follow, a science. And if we follow that path, and honor that science, it's amazing what happens physically and energetically and emotionally. And people always come to my yin class and they're like, oh my gosh, I would have never thought that the same person that taught bhakti flow or hot hip and holy was the same person that was teaching this yin class. And I firmly believe that when the student is ready, the teacher will arrive. And my teacher introduced Yin to me, and I was so resistant. I was young, I was in my early 20s, very frenetic, living in California, LA, you know, not eating, drinking caffeine, living off coffee, and um, in a Yin class. Didn't like it, but on a very deep level, I knew that it was exactly what I needed. And so I kept showing up and my body began to open up because it works the connective tissue and fascia. And I started to see the changes in myself. It's a sneaky way to get people to meditate for five minutes each pose or seven minutes or eight minutes or 10 minutes. So little mini meditations. And then I realized I was only doing half the practice by doing the yang energy, power practice, that I really need to balance it out with the other half, the yin practice. And so as a teacher, I needed to share that with my students so that they could also experience a balanced practice. 
So I began to teach it and share it with my community and my students. And I absolutely love it. I crave it now. So yin, the power. I also do a class called Vin Yin, which is um, half vinyasa and half yin. And it's a really beautiful practice. And it has that rise and that arc and that slow bringing down so that you just leave completely blissed out. Yeah. I believe that my purpose is to share and inspire others through the gift of yoga and the science of yoga, allowing them to tap back in to their true nature, that inner joy and contentment, and come into alignment with their purpose, why they are, they are here in this lifetime, and give them the faith and the trust and the courage to go out and share their purpose, to inspire others and shine their light as well.